Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk a bit about the Glob module in Python. So Glob is actually an inbuilt module in the Python standard library, which helps you to find the path names in your file system, which are matching a specified pattern. And Glob is actually inspired from the Unix shells style of pattern matching for the path names. So let me show you an example first. So let's say on my desktop, I have a folder called my folder in which I have several files which have different extension. So let me just open my terminal here. And now if I do ls, I get the list of all the files and folders which are present on the current path, right? But let's say there's a situation where I want to get only the PNG files in my current folder. So what can I do for that? So for doing that, the shortcut or you can say the method of doing that in the Unix shell is just you just need to do ls and then you can provide your pattern. So the pattern here will be for getting the PNG files is you just put an asterisk because you want to match anything and after that in the end you want to match .png. So this is a very simple you can say pattern which you can use for finding only the PNG files in your current directory. So let me just press enter and look at that you got background.png and cover.png right so in this way you can use the pattern matching for finding the path names so let's say if i wanted to find only the txt file so i can just do asterisk.txt and i will get only the txt files so this is how unix shell is able to show you the path names according to the specified pattern and the same thing can be done using python in Python by using the glob module so glob module is a very simple module which helps you to find all the path names which are matching a specified pattern okay so we are going to explore the glob module so without any delay let's get started okay so before I give you an example of how to use glob let us see what we can do if we do not know anything about the glob module so you can simply use the os module in python you just need to import os and then you can use the list dir function of the os module in which if you do not pass anything like you do os dot list dir what it will do is that it will return you all the paths available in the current working directory like this and if you just put any particular path inside this function as an argument then you will get all the paths available from that particular path which is all the paths which are available from my folder so on my desktop i have my tutorial.ipynb which is my notebook from that i am giving from the desktop basically i am giving the my folder path so in the my folder i have all these files and folders so i am getting the details of all of them like this right so this is simply what you can expect if you try to use the ls command in the unix shell right so this is how you do it and now let's say you want to get only those files in your current folder let's say which are ending with a png extension you want only png files so what you can do is that you can just do png you can create um, an empty list called png files and then for path in paths you can simply check if path dot ends with dot png or not and if it ends with dot png then you can append that particular path to your list called png files so this will simply create a list of only png files for you so this is as simple as that but now here comes the glob module which makes this task much easier for you so all you have to do is you have to just do import glob and now using the glob function of the glob module what you have to do is that you have to specify a pattern so you will have you will be specifying a pattern as an argument to the glob function and in the return you will be getting all the paths which are matching that pattern okay so from my desktop what can be the pattern for getting all the files and folders in the my folder so what for that you have to do my folder slash asterisk so asterisk means match anything any number of times so if I just run it, look at that, I get all the paths available which are matching this particular pattern which is my folder slash anything. So look at that, I'm getting all of them, right? So in this way you can use glob for um, getting all the files in a particular folder. 
and now if I just do dot png after that let's see what happens look at that I get only the png files so in this way by using the power of pattern matching I am able to get the all the png files in my current in in a particular path without writing any kind of logic like this right so this is how glob can be much easier to use and much powerful as compared to the os modules list dir function and also if you just replace your dot png with dot txt you can get all the txt files right now let us extend and move to another fun another example let's say in this particular case you want to get all the file names which are starting with a digit and ending with dot txt for example 3a.txt 1 2 and 3 4.txt so all these four files are starting with a digit so what i can do for getting them so the pattern will be you have to do glob.glob .glob and then just pass your pattern which is my folder and now i have to specify that i want to get a character at this particular position right so for specifying um, a particular class of characters which should match at a particular position you can use this particular syntax in which you just need to put square brackets in which you can provide your character class so this is a lot like regular expressions but the glob patterns are not exactly regular expressions so you should be aware of that because slash d will not work here like regular expressions instead you will have to do something like this 0 to 9 so 0 to 9 and then after that i want i, I can accept anything and then dot txt so let me run it look at that i get 3a.txt 1 2 and 3 4.txt so i am getting all the paths in which i have the file name starting with some digit and then they are ending with a dot txt right now let's consider one more situation let's say you want to find all the paths in which the file name is starting with a digit and the total file name contains only two characters that is 3a is acceptable and 34 is acceptable 1 and 2 are not acceptable because they have only one digit or let's say only one character in the actual file name so for such kind of situation what you can do is that you can so basically you have to specify that you want only one character at this particular position right you want only one character at this particular position so for doing that you can do you can use question mark so question mark means match any character only one time at this particular position so if i just run it now look at that i get 3a.txt and i get 34.txt because both are acceptable because you're saying that the file name should start with 0 to 9 which is any digit and then there should be one character which can be anything and then it should end with .txt so actually this is the scope of the glob patterns there are only three special type of um, characters that you can use or the three special expressions you can say yes you can call them special characters so there are only three special characters that are available in the glob patterns which is asterisk question mark and then the square brackets so we have covered all of them so you must have understood the scope of the glob patterns by now right so they are not as powerful as regular expressions but still they do their work in such a way that you can utilize them in most of the situations okay now moving on let's consider a particular situation um, for example here in my folder i have another folder called logos and inside logos i have some more png files so what if i want to get all the png files in my current folder which means that i want to move into the subdirectories as well recursively and i want to find all the png files which is i want to get background.png cover.png and logo.png and python.png i want to get all these files right so for doing that i will have to move recursively starting from my root folder going inside deep inside up to the node folders right leaf folders so what I, you can do for that is that you have to just use glob glob again in which you will have to specify a pattern which allows recursive pattern matching right so for recursive pattern matching what you have to do is you have to use double asterisk so double asterisk followed by a slash will mean that 
you want to allow zero or more sub directories to be traveled so this much part which i have highlighted here it means that zero or more sub directories can be matched here which means that this pattern will also get matched which we have already tried and this pattern will also match which means that any number of um, sub directories inside okay so this is the pattern and this is not it you will have to also provide another argument which is recursive which you have to put as true so by default recursive is false so now if i run it look at that i get all the png files i get background.png cover.png inside logos i get logo.png and i got python.png so this shows you the power of glob that you can move recursively as well and can find all the paths which are matching the specified pattern but think about had i run this particular query of pattern matching from my root folder from my home folder then there are a lot of png files and it will take a lot of time to search for those png files so you should be beware before using this double asterisk thing okay so you can also refer to the docs of the glob module which are provided in the standard python documentation so you can read more about the double asterisk here so you will get an idea but mainly it is used for matching zero or more sub directories okay okay now let's talk about another thing let's say you did a recursive search and you got a lot of paths you get you got a very large list then many a times it is not possible to store the complete list in the memory or you do not want to store the complete list in the memory because you want to access or process that list elements one by one so in those kind of situation it's better to have an iterator and glob helps you with that by providing you a function which can return the results in the form of an iterator so for that all you have to do is you have to do glob dot iglob so you have to use the iglob function of the glob module you can simply put the same arguments here as well but the only difference is there here is that the iterator uh, you will get a you will get an iterator so you can just pass it to the next function the inbuilt next function to iterate over it so next you get the first thing which is this one and then another another and finally stop iteration which means that no more items left in the output so in this way you can use the iterators as well so well yeah so this was all about glob from my side i hope you enjoyed exploring the glob module and you'll be using it in your further python programs and if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video Thanks for watching.